This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has me. That's the Lord. Here it is. This is the day. Babe, which necklace should I wear? Should I wear this one or this one? Five more minutes! <laughs> or maybe ten. Fifteen, probably. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know, but you'll have enough time to be there. I know that so many people say they love the Lord. <laughs> Swear up and down that they say. <laughs> yeah, that's what they say. But how they live is not in one accord uh, To the many things that they claim Jermaine, can you help me out, girl? Up from the pulpit down into the pew Seems as sin as his way Yeah, I know that's how it seems My name is Latanya Smith. My life is so blessed. I'm surrounded by few friends that love me, but it didn't always start off that way. Have you ever heard of a generational curse? They say it is passed on when a child is raised in a substance abuse environment. They say that a child is doomed to repeat those behaviors. Parents pass patterns of behaviors to their children and down to the next generation and so on. Who is it? Is that the hill time? Mommy. I like to see your mom please step in. Mommy, Dr. Hill is here to see you. Mommy. Huh? Are you there? Hello, Dr. Hill. Hi. How are you? Good. I'd like to see your mom. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Mommy, wake up. Huh? What? Mommy, the police are here. Who? Ms. Jones. What are you doing in my house? Ms. Jones. Ms. The school called. The they're school. Concerned. Yes, they're concerned about your children. What? They said this is huh? an unsafe environment what? for them. This... I have to take it with me until I can conduct an investigation. Y'all get out of my face. Get out of my house. I'm just waking Ms. up. Jones, my children are, are fine. Ms. Tell Ms. them Jones, fine. are you high? They're fine. Are Don't worry hotel. about what's going on in my house. Drugs are illegal. I have to take them with me. No, Sorry. you're not taking. Get your hands on him. Timmy! Yeah. Let go of him! Yeah. No! Yeah. It's my son, man! You can't take him! They can't kill him! Tell him you're fine, Timmy! No, you can't take No! Don't tell me why! No, I can't relax. It just took 
computer. You do not have a place for them to sleep. And you have to take a bed. I'm to bring my children back. Let's, let me do an investigation. Then I'm going to okay. talk about Look it. Look around. Everything is fine. I know it's sad for you. I feel badly for you. No, you well. don't because you brought the police to my house. I know. And you I know how much I love my that children. I can bring them with me. I know you, you know I love them. my children. I know you love your children. Oh, don't ever say just bring them back in here. Oh, I can't bring them back right now. We can make sure that you're okay and the children are okay. Yes. And, and we'll make sure the that children back, right? We'll get individual and family counseling. Okay. I want to make sure that you're okay. I, I'm, okay. I'm very glad to hear that. And you're going to bring the children back, right? He's going to um, bring them back in here? Well, no, not right now. So, I we're going to get this shot. Treatment. Yes, I'm going to do that. Thank I you. Said, but I said I will go. Bring my children back. I'll talk Please to you tell them to bring them back in here. No. I said I was going to treatment. I said, just bring my children back. Just wait, man. Just Please. stay there, man. Just stay there. I need my children. Okay, children, everything is going to be okay. You have to make sure that your mama gets home. I was unfamiliar with. Disappointment, fear, rejection, heartbreak, depression. These emotions I know oh too well. happens when you turn 18, don't you? I stopped getting paid for you to live here, that's what. So I was thinking that maybe next week, yeah, yeah, next week, you should have all your stuff packed and be ready to go. What? Baby girl, that's just the way it is. No more bread, no more place for you to lay your head. I got to get some other bastard children up here because mama needs a check. Is love even real? Or is it just a fantasy? Excuse me? What? What? What are them tears for? Girl, you better wipe them tears. Girl, you can't be crying out there in them streets. But you better wipe your tears and grow you some. You won't last two days out there. Don't I love you? Oh, I love you at all. Get that fantasy out of your head right now. Get it out your head. Only love you gonna experience is when you bring your pimp as money. Look, nobody love you. Your crackhead mama cursed you and your little bastard brother. Nobody love you. She ain't love you. I know your whole pitiful story. Your mama don't love you, and I bet your daddy was one of them trifling men out there living in them streets, and he don't love you either. He ain't love you. 
See, when I took you in, I ain't had no issues with you. Because you were smart enough to know that all I wanted was your money. Stand up. Who you think you're looking at like that? Now walk to that wall and back to me. Yeah, that's it. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. Come on. And then this time, stick out your chest and you hold your head up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's it. See, walking on them corners is how you gonna eat. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah, you need to practice that. <laughs> Cause uh, in about seven more days, next week, you're not gonna be my problem no more. <laughs> yeah, practice that. <laughs> By the way, happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, walk again. I'll go back again. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I remember the day that I got the news that my mom had died from a drug overdose. That was hard to take, but made it worse was that I was given the news about her death two years after the funeral. Oh God, why are all these bad things happening to me? I must have been born to be a poster child for bad luck. Good afternoon and welcome to Love Walk Social Cafe. My name is Tanya and I'll be a waitress today. Are you ready to work? I am. I'll take a cheeseburger with fries, a slice of cheesecake, and a small diet coke. Because you know we got to watch those calories, right? <laughs> All right, is that all? That would be all for today. All right. Come on right up. Thank you. Excuse me. Yes? I'm so embarrassed. But it looks like I left my credit card at the job. So if you'll let me, I'll go back and get my credit card and I'll come back and I'll pay you. Oh, you don't have to come back. It's okay, ma'am. I'll pay for it. No, seriously. I'm not trying to stiff you or anything. I'm going to go back. Mm -hmm. I'll get my credit card. I'll come back and I'll pay you. Please. I want to do it. Just let it be a good deed of the day. <laughs> seriously. Wow. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Hmm. What's your name, by the way? Oh, I'm Cindy. I'm Tanya. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Have a good one. Cindy began asking me to serve her when she came in for lunch. We became good friends and exchanged phone numbers. One night, after Cindy and I got off the phone, I received another phone call that brought back painful memories. You can come this way. How are you doing? I'm good. You can have a seat right here. Thank you. Cindy, what would you like today? I'm gonna have the chicken salad to go. Mm -hmm. What dressing? Ranch. All right, I'll be right back. What would you like to drink? Hot, Hot tea, tea with lemon. lemon. Right. Hi, Kelly. Hi. How are you today? I'm good, but something's up with your girl. Maybe you can get her to tell you what's wrong. I've never seen her this down before. Okay, I'll do that. What about you? When are you gonna come to church with me? Come join our Faith Town family. You know that offer is still on the table. Who, me? You know I... Tanya, come here, come here. You seem a little down today. Is everything okay? Yeah, I guess so. I just got a call from my brother last night. Your brother? I didn't even know you had a brother. Yeah, we were separated when I was nine years old. I really don't talk about him much, though, you know? Because I didn't know where he was, if he was alive, or if he remembered me. And I think about, he was about two years old when I saw him last. Yeah. Wow, that sounds like some color purple stuff right there. I'm sorry, I don't mean to eavesdrop, but you just look so down today. Well, how's he doing? Well, I haven't seen him in 15 years, but I understand that he's doing quite well. So, why such a sad face? Isn't it a good thing that you guys reconnected? He lives all the way in Arizona. And do you not know how much we get paid around here? I mean, that would literally take me forever to get one plane ticket. 
Don't worry about that. God would have never reconnected you if he didn't have a way for you guys to get back together. I mean, everything works out in God's divine order. You just have to trust him. God, if there even was a God, then why hasn't he answered any of my prayers? All I ever wanted was my mother and my brother and I to be a family again. And you can see that did not happen. All my accomplishments, I did it all by myself. Sweet, you know you were never alone. All that stuff you had to go through, and I know you've been through a lot. That was just your test. But God's gonna work that out. You just watch and see. Everything happens the way he plans it out. He's gonna work it out for you. Wait and see. Yeah, okay, I have orders to make. Ooh, would you look at the time? You think that sound would be ready? It should be. Let me go check. Okay. The next day after Cindy ate a lunch, for a tip, she left a plane ticket for me to visit my baby brother. that Job endured, God had a divine destiny for him. Yes. Somebody say amen. amen. Though he lost everything, <laughs> even someone that did the thing to him, God said, look here, son, you're my child. Yes. And I want to just bless you right now. Yes. Jesus knows. But you know, one thing about in the midst of Job's storm, everybody turned against him. Somebody say, turn against you. Turn. You might got somebody on your back that's trying to turn against you. But God, Turn him around. Right. Somebody sitting here today need to turn himself around. Well, but you know God is good, isn't he? <laughs> but Joe, he realized that he was born with a purpose. Hi, sweetheart. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Thanks for asking. How is Bishop Watkins doing? He's doing great. Oh, good, yes. good, good. Yes. So wonderful to see you all. Yes. Talking about pioneers in the church. Oh, my God. Bishop and Mother Watson. Yes. Oh, my God. And I heard of all the wonderful work you've been doing. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God, girl. Look at her eyes. Oh, yes. her eyes are just sparkling. Lovely. Isn't she beautiful? Very lovely. Yes, this is she just, well, Oh my goodness, honey, nice this church would be nowhere without the work that they've done. Right, correct. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, <laughs> Rachel, this is my son, Jameson. Jameson, this is Rachel. Okay, nice to meet you. Nice Bishop you. Watson's daughter. Oh my God. <laughs> well, welcome. Thank you. Oh, honey, isn't he handsome? Look at that jawline. I'm telling you. Oh, my goodness. And smart, strong. <laughs> Does a lot of work in the church and loves the Lord, honey. Uh -huh. Oh, come on. Let me get a picture. Oh, my God. Talking about a power couple. Come on, you two. Get together. Come on. Give me those curly whites. There we go. Oh, say yes. Yes. To marriage. Oh, oh. oh. Wow. I got you. I got it. Oh, look. Got to get you two together to do lunch. The Rattlesnake Club. The Rattlesnake. We're going to make it a foursome. I'm so oh my sorry. goodness, you're dead. We're going to make it a foursome. We're going to make it a twosome right now. Grab these kids. I didn't know you was going to get ambushed. It happened to me too, so, you know, maybe we can do some grief counseling and get over this matter. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to deal with this lady. I'm so sure we'll figure out something. Okay. Like the whole thing? Mm hmm. Dang, you look good too. Mm -hmm. What's up? Cool, you know what I do? Mm -hmm. Are you gonna tease me now? Mm -hmm. Come on, get it to me. Mm. You know what else I want? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that thought. Mm -hmm. Hey, mom. I'm kinda busy right now. Can I call you back? Take a few seconds. Alright, Mom, but I only got a few seconds, okay? <laughs> Boy, why haven't you called the bishop's daughter? Hmm? She's been waiting for over two weeks. Your dad and I went through a lot to try to get you two to meet. 
You do want a nice Christian girl in your life, huh? Instead of those chicken head hoochies who don't know the Bible from the hymn book? Hmm? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Jamie, promise your mama that you will call her before this week is out. Promise me, son. Okay, Ma, I promise I will call, okay? I gotta go. Great, Jamie. Now look, don't let your father and me down. We're not trying to look bad in the bishop's eyes. You got us, right? Okay, Ma. I okay, you. I will call I you. you. I love you. I gotta go. I love you too. That's my baby. <clears throat> Alright, so... Where were we? Wow. Your mom sounds really bossy. I mean, I can't believe she thought someone she wants you to marry. Didn't that stuff happen in like the old days? Yeah. And you know, they do have good intentions and all. But they only want to see me with somebody that they pick for me. Like Bishop Watson's daughter. See, if I hook up with her, then somehow that it's going to solidify them a position in the church organization. You know I love your mama. But I would make a good daughter-in-law. I mean, don't you think? Oh, I know it. You would make a great, great daughter-in-law. But, as fine as you are, that cute face of yours, my mama don't see no cute grandbabies in her future. All she sees is that type of first lady. I guess it's kind of hard having parents in a high position in the church and all, but it must be even harder to try to act good when you're all so bad. Uh, you know me so well, don't you? Mm -hmm. Only your parents knew what I know. <laughs> Come and show me something. Mm -hmm. Sister Thomas, how you doing on this blessed Sunday morning? I am doing fabulous, Deacon Smith, and how are you? I'm blessed and highly played with the fruit. Yeah, sure, I see it all up in the spirit. <laughs> Sister Thomas, you're too kind. Uh, and you looking great yourself, by the way. I want to ask you, are you going to be at the uh, church picnic on next month? Deacon Smith, you know I'm on the planning committee. You know I'm going to be there. And I forget. <laughs> okay, well, look, that brings me to my next question. You got a lot of questions, but go on. I do, I do. Um, do you know Cindy or uh, her friend? Uh, what's her name? Her new friend. Little Tanya, little sweet Tanya. Tanya. Yeah, do you know if she's coming? Well, she spoke about it, but we'll see. Okay. okay. I'm hoping she'll be there. It'll be a fabulous occasion. Uh-huh. Oh, no. Just Why wondering. Just wondering. Okay. Um, you know if she dated anybody? Well, I know she's not married because I know I would have been in the wedding. Okay. <laughs> so I know she's not married. As far as dating, that's something you should be asking her, Deacon Smith. What's going on? Interesting. Okay. You mind introducing us? <laughs> there we go. We get to the good part. That's what you was here for. Okay. <laughs> you know, Sister Thomas in the church, but she ain't always been in the church now, Deacon. I know there's a lot of pimps coming pastor, or deacons, I should say. You know, what's, what's going on? I don't like being part of no mess now. There's rumors flying around the church now. So, I get it, I get it, but I'm sure I just okay. want to meet her. That's all. Okay, okay. That's I will great. take that. And you know, I don't do anything without praying and meditating on it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to pray and meditate on it. I got to get to a brunch, and I'm going to talk to you next service and let you know what the Spirit tells me, okay? Okay, well, you know what? Let me walk you out. Well, thank and hopefully you such a gentleman. The Spirit such leads gentleman. you into okay. an introduction. Well, we will see. Okay. Now, where is this brunch going now? Hey, girl. Hey, Tanya. What 
you doing, girl? Getting ready for bed. What's up with you? Someone at church wants to meet you, that's what. What? Are you from who? Deacon Smith's son, Jamerson. Jamerson? Who's that? You know the nice looking brother who sits in the pulpit sometimes. Mm -hmm. And his name is Jamerson? Yes. And he wants to meet me? He came up to me and asked if I could introduce you to as soon as possible. Um, I don't know. What type of guy is he? Some people talk about him being a player, but I think some hate on him because the brother has his stuff together. I guess you can introduce us, and I'll see you. Okay, girl. Alright. <laughs> Bye, girl. Good night. Oh. Hey, it's really nice. Stay with my son. Yeah, a little bit. I thought so, man. I'm sitting there trying to help them get my macaroni together. That's my first thing. Got it on my top. Good point. I am wearing a suit, right? Right. Pardon me, Deacon Smith. How are you? Okay, Sister Thomas. Sister Thomas. How you doing? Oh, you know I do mm -hmm. This is Tanya. Tanya, this is Jamison, better known as Deacon Smith. This is Tanya. Yes, this is Tanya. Well, well. It is finally oh. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Just look at there. I forgot I have a meeting to get to. Oh, you do? I'm going to talk to you. Call me. Okay. Hey, you have a good meeting. Thank you. So, Tanya. Oh, my God. It's, uh, it is just a blessing to meet you right now. Did you happen to get something to eat? I made the macaroni and cheese. What you think? Oh, you made it? Oh, yeah. I take pride in that too. Your dad wants to see us. Right now? Yeah. <laughs> right now? Yes. Okay. All right, uh, tell him I'll be there in a minute, okay? Okay. All right, thanks. All right, so I got to go take care of some church business, but um, I won't be long, just a few minutes. You mind if I walk you to your car after? No, take your time. I'll be right here. All right. Don't move. How are you? I'm great and stuff. How are you? Sunshine, mm -hmm. fresh air, oh my God, the sound of water, mm. and good food, baby. Yes. It don't get no better than this. Mm -hmm. What about your man? How's he doing? Oh, wonderful. Just wonderful. Mm -hmm. You know, I was just wondering, do you know if there's any other churches joining us today? Mm, no, I haven't heard. Oh. Well, I thought maybe, you know, Bishop Watson and his daughter, you know, family. No, family. no. It, would be nice though, always good seeing the saints, but no, I ain't heard nothing. I don't know how nice it would be for Rachel and his daughter though, because um, Jamerson's sitting over there exercising his face muscles, you know, doing all this smiling with the new girl and all. You know, over where? Right over there. I'm surprised you haven't noticed. I mean, they've been there all day. But um, I think her name is Tanya or something. And she's always in his face, like. You know, every Sunday, every time the church doors are open, you know, she's just always there. Uh, every time, huh? Yeah. Every time. Okay. All right, baby, well, always good seeing you. You talking about me to my side? Of course. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I was just thinking, though, like, you know, it's such a shame, you know, these girls and their mentality nowadays, you know, just thirsty. Well, yeah, well, well all we can do, girl, yeah. Husband by well, any means necessary, you know. We just have to stay prayerful. Mm -hmm. And all we can do is keep teaching them the right way. Mm -hmm. Because we've all been in that boat before, haven't we? Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, we have. Well, anyways, it's always great seeing you. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, I'll just tell them to say good think about it. All right, baby, thank you. All right. Close the door behind you. I'm in the pants of the most handsome 
great the sun ever worked this earth. <laughs> Y'all all right? We're doing great, son. Good, so you want to see yes. it? Yes, sir. Oh, yes, honey. Uh, your dad and I, we're not trying to control you, honey. Uh, we just want the best for you. That's all. Really? It's been brought to our attention by some of the church members that there's a young lady who's pressing hard on finding a husband. And she seems to have her sights and claws set on you. Oh yeah, who was that? Because if you're talking about the young lady that I was having a conversation with at the picnic on Saturday, we're just friends, Mom. Well, do you like her? I don't know. All I know is that we were having a conversation and then somebody sent your little henchwomen over there to break that up. So I, I guess that's not what it is, huh? But son, what about Rachel? What Rachel? about Rachel? Rachel is the bishop's daughter. That's the person that you and dad chose for me. What about who I want to be with? James, you sound like Samson from the Bible. Man, come on. Here you go again with some more scriptures to validate that I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. All right, Pop, tell me, what's Samson got to do with me now? First of all, I want you to watch your smart mouth. Mm -hmm. Samson's parents was trying to fix him up with someone that was good for him. That's right. But he chose Delilah, and that was the beginning of his end. That's right. Wow. Wow, so, so now you're sitting up here telling me that if I don't date who y'all tell me to date, then I'm not going to be blessed, right? I'm just going to hell. I'm just not going to be happy. Nothing good is going to happen in my life if I don't listen to what y'all say. Do. Hold on. No, son. What I'm saying is, your mother and I are looking out for what's best for you. No, 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 no. What I'm hearing, Dad, Mom, is that you're looking out for what's best for y'all. You need to bring it no, 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 no. What I need to do is tell y'all what's really going on. See, y'all using me to get better status in the church so y'all can get somewhere up high in this organization and probably somewhere down the line get a church of y'all on. This really? is the will of God. No, this is the will of two parents trying to pimp their son. Pimp? Yes, pimp. Man, if... You wouldn't feel the need to try to make me date somebody that I don't even want to date in the first place had you not been sleeping with all these women all those years ago to cheat no more. Excuse me? And you just got your life together. Johnny. Did you forget that? Oh, you don't remember Miss Johnson? Um, I'm sorry. Sorry? You don't owe him no apology. Save it, Mom. Save it, Jamie. This slap... This slap right here just validated everything Son, I just Son, said. Listen to me. No, man. you listen to me. Jamie, you don't understand. I can't believe y'all, man. I I pity y'all. Oh, really? Oh, yes, really. You see, had you not been so controlling, Ma, maybe, just maybe Dad wouldn't have been out there, I don't know, Seeking out some missing women in the church. Jamie, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't know what you're talking about. You go there with me. I do know that I got my own house. You, just, you need to stop. I'm a grown man, and I can make my own decisions. That's what I do know. Okay, Mister, I'm a grown man. You don't understand. I got my own house. You don't understand. I can make my own decisions. You better thank God for sparing your life from your mother's slap. Cause had it been me. And I'm going to tell you right now, you better get to stepping. Because what I'm about to do, this ain't going to be no holy hands, brother. Go on, Jamie. Are you going to hit me too? Get out. You ain't got no more scriptures? Get the walking. Step. I said step right now. Just like I thought. You need to worry about getting your own life in order. Run yours and I'm going to run mine. It's all right, honey. It's all right. Listen, God knows that we are not perfect. I know I'm not perfect. And he brought me through that and brought us through that situation. But we're picking up, trying to get it right, and whatever you need, honey, we're going to do this. God got us. Because we're striving to do the right thing. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay.
Kom bij ook. Give my boy the ball. Oh, come on, step. That's what I'm talking about. All the way, baby. You like that? Yeah, you up. Right back. Come on. Man, that was nasty. Swisher. That's what I'm talking about. And another one, the boys is unstoppable. Give him one more, man, just for the road. One more for the road, all the way. Man, he making these guys look like kids. He's signing them in the game. Bros, thank y'all for coming over. Really appreciate y'all coming through, man. Uh, here for you, man. <laughs> Shut up, man. <laughs> but listen, real talk, though, man. Mom's been stressing me out, putting the full court press on about Hooking up with Bishop Watson's daughter, bro, and still, still, I just yeah, I'm losing I, my mind, man. So, you know, I'm glad y'all came through, bro. That's all I'm trying to say. Yeah, I, I heard your mama went with on you, man. <laughs> Come on, dog. You got jokes? I just told you, man. I'm sitting here inviting you in my home, bearing my soul, saying I'm glad that you came through. Chill with your man. So you gonna clown me? You just got jokes all night. But it, it ain't nothing like it was when you was growing up, though, right? Bro, it was like a scene from Crooklyn. <laughs> Better yet, Beirut, bro. I'm talking about shootouts and stabbings in the living room, bro. You was lucky if you made it out the door to go to school. James, three hours later, the FBI can still get your mama finger fence out of the door. Come on, bro. <laughs> hey, man, it's still sore, man. Chill. Hey. Man, you're not the only one with female problems, man. I've been going through it, bro. Your mama trying to run your life, too? No, bro. Not my mom. She's not slapping me. It's the girl that's driving me crazy. <laughs> I'm talking about driving me crazy, man. It's like they get so caught up into the text messages, the Instagram. She just, I don't know, bro. Too much. And then society playing like we the players. They play it better than us, if you ask me. Bingo. Hey, yo, Adrian. Rocking his feelings again. Hey, come on, bro. Man, come get out on. your feelings. Man, I'm being Chill, serious, bro. Insecure women are the worst. Just think about it, bro. Everything I do. You worried about my text messages on the phone that I pay the bill on? And then Instagram. Example. Instagram. Like. Who is this? I don't. It's Instagram. Drop. Checks my gas. Man, just too whoa, much. Whoa, 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 whoa. Too much, bro. Gas, mom. She checked your gas? Man, yes, my gas, bro. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, my dog. gas. By adding up where I'm telling her, hey, I'm going over gas? here. So she, my gas, man. Man, oh, I just don't know, bro. I can't do it no more, man. I can't do it no more. Marriage, y'all can have it, bro. I think I'll I stay single for the rest of my life. Dang, dog. Uh, I can't believe she take your gas. Yeah, that's crazy, man. But look. And then, don't let it be more than what. She expected to be right. Bro, it's who were you with? Where did you go? Did y'all have a good time? I'm with my boys. I don't wanna be surprised if this her right here. <laughs> yeah, man, that's 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 too much drama man. for me, man. Like yeah, I feel like if she, she feel like you in the street, she should just leave. She or should I'm gonna leave, leave her. Talk. Yeah. I'm gonna leave her. And it's like I'm social, get dumped. social media ain't nothing but a roadmap for a fair relationship. You know, it's girls on there trying to ruin good relationships. Bingo. You know, or they trying to get with me, you know. <laughs> oh, man, <laughs> stop it. Don't say all that, me, man. nobody want you rich. Man. My man tell you about his problems at home, you know. He probably ain't going to live through the night. 
what I'm saying? And you up here talking about you. Yeah. It's cool though, man. But tell me this. What real woman want a broke dude named Rich? You're not increasing her life at all, bro. Unless you want to count the, you know, the transfer that you can give when y'all on that bus, right? But he a little more romantic than that, so I, I man, see let's, your let's, future. Let's watch the game. Let's he watch and her game. bus passes. Let's watch the that game. That look good, baby. Let's watch the you game. You all, you want to watch the game now? Hey, hey. Come on, bro. I'm serious, man. I'm going through it, bro. We get older. I know we're not old, but I'm ready to settle down, man. I just don't know what to do, bro. I'm oh, bad, man. I don't know what to do, man. You should get out. That's what you should do. Not get out You're more. Not hang with the homies. Get out. Leave. Matter of fact, let her keep the house, the dog, the cars. Just leave, man. I got a room look, in the look, back. Look, I'm going to tell you something. Don't, don't take advice from Jameson. Because you're only going to get mama slapped, man. You feel me? Ooh. <laughs> you still on my head, huh? <laughs> Bro, stop hey, playing. Look, no, 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 no. no. But I'll say it. I'll say it, though. Look, Rob. Go to church. Get you a good wholesome girl. Put a ring on it. Just be quiet, man. Just watch the game, man. I gotta scratch my head on that one. Did you just say go to church? Yeah. Let's just, let's just watch Get a wholesome girl? Just watch Mr. Player Player himself? Bro, that's the only good thing that came out of his mouth, bro. Go to church. My church. Bishop Watson's daughter. You can have her. She a good wholesome Christian woman. She's single, available. Bro, you be doing me and you a favor. I'll be doing you. Come on, baby. Bishop Watson's daughter, you can have her, bro. No, sir, not I. And your mama? Nope. Can't do it, bro. You still got the hand mark on your face. Oh, man, y'all ain't no good. You can't do it. I don't even think God can say you can have That's wild, man. You know what? Get out my house. You can go too. Leave this free water. I do, man. Don't touch the chips. Just get out. That's what it came to, bro. My feelings is hurt, man. Out of all the people, I expect this game. Come on, man. I'm, I'm good. I can go. Can't watch the game in no way. Mr. Grind, grind. Bees on his pillow. So my mama got gave me this pill. He got bees on his pillow. Bye. Stop cheating. You know. <laughs> it's cool because that's you. I'm still Everybody know that's you. winning. Oh, wow. It's 2 a.m. Say word. For real. Man. Looks like I need to be starting to head home. 
Guess it is pretty early, huh? Yeah. Oh. Good morning, Miss Jones. <laughs> Smart guy. I just wanted to make you smile, so. And it worked. Mm. You know what? All cards on the table. This has been the most wonderful time I ever had. I'm having an absolute blast with you. Like, and the fact that you're telling me you're about to leave makes me very sad. Don't say that. Say what? Please. I mean, it just sounds too good to be true. I promised myself that I would never listen to what people had to say. Nice. Because they're just turning you on the end. I just can't be weak enough to be vulnerable. Oh man, um, look Tanya, I don't know what you've been through, okay? And uh, I'm not going to pretend like I know what it feels like for somebody to turn on you, because I don't. But I do know I'm a man of my word. <laughs> and look, if I, if I say something nice to you, I mean it. I do. Yeah, I wish I could believe you. You can. Jameson, from my mother, my father, and my foster care mother, she said no man will ever love me. What? So I don't know what you're doing. Nah, man. What kind of person would say that to somebody? What kind of mother would say that to their daughter? That's just messed up. She wasn't my mother. She just took me in when I was 10 years old. <sighs> Nicknamed me Paycheck. For years, I wanted her to understand me. I just want to be happy. Oh. Listen. Listen. Let me take this. For one, you're like the first person I ever met that it's not gonna let anybody dictate their lives. That's dope. That's real dope. And number two, you're like the strongest woman I know. It's like, I wish I could be more like you. You know, my mom, <laughs> never mind, uh, but I want you to know that forget what that foster lady said and, and your parents, you are more than a conqueror, okay? And I want to prove to you, Tanya, that there are good men out there. It's a good man right here. Any man will be blessed to have you. And I'm, I'm blessed just having you here with me. You, you see, you made my night, <laughs> right? So forget all that. You're a wonderful woman, okay? And even, even if we don't work out, I'm never gonna lie to you, deceive you, or, or even play games with you. I'm gonna keep it 100 at all times. Really? Really. I have to go. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's cool, I, I understand. Walk you You pick me up, Lord, when I was down. You brought me in when I was out. With this pomegranate juice, ladies, really? Let's make a toast. Okay. To love and. Respectful relationships. Really, Logan? To love? You got something you want to tell us? Mm. No. But I think somebody at this table got a lot they can say about love. Really? What? Mm. Why y'all looking at me like that? Logan said it. Come on now. We know Logan and her husband been together forever. Mm -hmm. They way past love. It's out there in the ozone somewhere. <laughs> Speaking of, how's Deacon Smith's son? What's his name? Jamerson. Hi, 
Y'all yeah. stop messing with my girl. If she got something to say, she'll say it. Well, she ain't talking at all. But I am curious. When did you start seeing Jamerson? Well, Tasha decided to introduce me here one day after church and left me there by myself, and you know you did. Had a brunch date. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to take him right now, but he does seem like a sweet guy. You need to quit playing. Tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Quit holding back. Cindy, where's your Bible? Right here on my phone. What you need? What you need? <laughs> Let me look it up. Well, we did almost kiss last night. What? what? I said almost though, ladies, okay? I mean, he listens to me, he respects me. And I had to catch myself before. Mm. Well, you know what? It's not your business. So, Logan and Tasha, you can shut your mouth. Mm -hmm. Well, it sounds like something did happen. Tanya, you sure you ready for that? Cindy, stop trying to be her mama and let her live. Thank you. I agree with Cindy. Hold up. You agree with Cindy? Yes, I do. <laughs> you are young and beautiful, and I want you to go out there and have fun and meet people, but you can never lose yourself in a man, no matter how good he treats you. You gotta know and love Tanya. Tanya, you've been through a lot, and I just want you to heal from all that pain before you go getting yourself entangled with any man. And I want you to come to Fake Town. Because I'm not so sure that this Jamerson character even deserves a woman like you. And in Fake Town, you'll find a love that can be far beyond what any man can offer. You will. You will. Oh, Lord. I'm waiting on Cindy to say, Jesus is my husband and I don't need a man. <laughs> That's her. <laughs> That's her. <laughs> That's her. <laughs> well, as a matter of fact. Oh, God. Jesus is my husband. And if these young women would seek God first, we wouldn't have this player problem. Because men don't cheat with men. They cheat with women. Mm. But not all men cheat with women. <laughs> Say that. Okay. That's a conversation for another time. And we need to have that conversation. We're not having that conversation. <laughs> Tanya, I want you to maintain your virtue. A first love is a delicate thing. And sometimes when we've been hurt, we leave ourselves open and vulnerable to place ourselves in situations we may not be able to get out of. You understand? Yes, and I agree with Cindy once again. Well, y'all know my story. In my mind, I was a Proverbs 31 woman. But because I hadn't healed from that childhood pain that I endured, no matter what I did, no matter what he did, I never felt good enough. And when my husband left me for another woman, oh, that was the deepest heartbreak I ever felt. Oh. But that heartbreak in hindsight was the best thing that ever happened to me because it forced me to find little Tasha and help her to heal. And I say this to say, healing is absolutely necessary. We have to heal ourselves. We can't expect a man to love us if we can't love ourselves. There's a lot of good men out there, but not all of them are equipped to go into the dark places that we've been, a lot of us, and pull us back into the light. We have to do our part. We have to do our work. And it starts with healing the self. Self-love can heal many a wounds. I know, I told him that, but, you know, I want to heal, but these wounds are just so deep. But, it's okay, because I have my girls. Yes, you yes, do. Yes, yes, you do. On that note, let's toast mm -hmm. to women, to healing, and to love. All right, yes. now. Mm -hmm. And remember, you can call on the sisters. Oh, my goodness. <laughs>
I had a great time, Jamie. You know what? So did I. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I had a lot of fun. <sighs> Good night, Miss T. Good night, Jamie. Wait, have I ever given you a tour of my house? Oh. Well, if you want to come in, you can. Come on. You can give me a tour right now. Yes, come on. Okay. And this is where I get off and fight, you know, do my hair. Wow. Get cute. Okay, I see you. So the magic happens, huh? Yeah. Not that it takes much, <laughs> but I see you got your body sprays and everything. Mm -hmm. You like it? It's dope. Cool. You like? Uh, yeah, I like it a lot, actually. This is an amazing tool. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, this is where I get my beauty sleep. Ah. Which would explain why you're so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> you want to take a peek? Uh, yeah, I'll peek in. Hey, uh, Tanya, the, the tour is nice. You have a lovely home. Bedroom is. It's gorgeous. I just don't think this is a good idea. <laughs> Boy, you just gonna have flex and chill. Have flex and chill. Yeah. You can pick the movie. For real? <laughs> yes. <sighs> Netflix and chill. Netflix and chill. You have made a mistake and fallen in sin. Tears cover your face, your heart feels so condemned. You have asked the Lord to forgive you, till the devil fights your mind. Saying your sin has a hold on you, and to find a waste of time, friend. Don't you know that when you repent, that Jesus' blood makes you whole again? Greater, greater. Be pregnant <laughs> just like your good for nothing mom. So, someone has hurt your heart, you feel this pain deep down. <laughs> they only want to trick you. <laughs> the world is falling apart, and the bottom has caved in. You said, Lord, I met my wits in, and I need to hear from you. Devil tells you give up living off the system <laughs> with a whole bunch of baby daddies. Jesus, you're fine. <laughs> you Ain't none of them gonna love you. If you keep your mind, 
chips have arrived man I heard it's supposed to be a really good movie so I don't want no jumping no screaming first one to do so owes dinner deal okay you ain't even gonna fight me on it that's hey what's wrong for sure I just turned four months pregnant yesterday what and you just not telling me Tanya wh why you wait so long to tell me we can't have no baby what look I'm not ready you not ready we not even married Nah, man. Four months. Four months? I can't have an abortion. Look, you gotta do something. Wow. Look, you... Alright. My parents will flip. You trying to kill them? This would destroy my parents. An abortion would destroy our child. Oh, come on, man. This ain't, it ain't even a whole baby yet. so sorry I'm I'm so sorry okay I didn't mean that I didn't mean that look there's, there's a lot to take care of right now oh, four months look I was just caught off guard okay that's all let's just let's just talk it out let's think about it okay okay listen With the jobs that we have, you know what I mean? Do you really think that we can take care of a child? Okay, look. Do you think we'd be able to give it the life it deserves? Four doctor's visits, diapers. Man, God knows what. Do you think we ready? No. Let's 
just let's just do what's best for the situation, okay? Let's let's just do what's best for me and for you. Alright? Baby, are you all right? No, I think I have to go to the hospital. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, nice and easy, baby. Nice and easy. Take it easy. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, baby. Oh, no. Nice and easy. Baby. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean for this to happen. right now, Tanya. Oh. I want to be, I really do, I really want to be here with you, but, but what if somebody sees me down here? Captain, what? I've just been thinking, if I get seen down here, my business of being in the streets, what about my reputation with the church? It's just too much. <laughs> I gotta go. How could you do this to me? Look, baby. <laughs> baby. You're here now, okay? <laughs> they gonna take real good care of you. Tanya, my name is Dr. Jones, and I couldn't help but overhear what happened in here. And I really, really wish that I had good news to share with you. But the trauma that you faced resulted in you losing your baby. I am so very sorry. Tanya, can I share something with you right now? We all have burdens that we have to face. And they don't want me to share this with you. But no matter what happens, God loves you. God is love. Do you know he promised never to leave you? And I know right now things seem hard and the things that I'm sharing with you is not easy. But you're going to make it. Things are going to be okay. You keep faith in God. All right. Yeah. 
God is good. Yes. All the time. God is good. Oh, yeah. First time you ever been here. <laughs> wow. Feels good too, man. <laughs> Want a drink? Yeah, come on. Thanks, bro. Oh, man. I ain't ran like that in a minute, man. Man. But our business at the church. You busy, I'm busy. Yeah. Feels good to get out, man. Each morning, though. What's that? Each and every morning, man. I gotta run every once in a while. I you know. see. <laughs> Man, oh man, copper squad, I wanna holler at you, bro. What's going on, man? I need to confess something, though. This? You brought me all the way out here to confess something? What's got going on, man? I got this burden on my chest that I, uh, I haven't been able to tell anyone. It's, it's eating me alive. I need your advice. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm the last one you need to be asking advice for. Come on, man. How, how bad could it be? Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you're the only one I know that won't judge me. Yeah, I guess you're right about that one, man. Come on. All right, lay it on me. I'm listening. You know, Tanya? Yeah? My man, I've been spending a lot of time with her. And, uh, we've been getting real close. <laughs> man, what, is, real what, what have you close. done that you can't go to your way with friends, man? Pregnant close. Oh. Yeah, I got her pregnant, man. And, uh, <laughs> wow, right? Ain't like me to be slipping like that. But, uh, it gets a little worse. Worse than pregnant. Uh, having a kid. That's what's worse than pregnant, and that's something I cannot do right now. And I'm the deacon of the church, man. My parents sent on the ministerial staff. Everything was going good. I can't have a kid right now. I'm not married to her, and I'm not ready. And to, and to top it all off, man, I can't embarrass my parents like that, the church like that. So no, nah, man, I talked to her and I said, we need to explore the options. What? Like abortion. I don't, I don't they teach you in church, that's not right? Yeah, they do, but this ain't the right time either. So it's still not right. All right, man, I hear what you're saying. Talk to her about it. And you know, she was against it at first, but then she came around. I took her to the clinic, and, and right before we went inside, man, she she pulled away from me, and she fell down, like, like really hard. And I rushed her to the hospital. Now, when we get there, man, it's all kinds of complications happening, and, and I see her sitting up in the bed, all crying and in pain. I freaked, bro. It scared me, man, and I didn't know what to do. So I ran, man, I left. I just you left. Panic, man. Panic. You weren't supposed to leave. Don't they teach you in church to take responsibilities for your actions? You know better than the man that left my mom. And the boy that left my mom. Come on, man. You ain't gotta be like that. Man, when are you guys gonna man up and take responsibility for your actions? You like you don't you don't even know what happened to her. You need to you need to ask God. You need to ask God for advice about this one, man. This ain't right, man. This ain't right. Come on, bro. I got somewhere to go, man. I need you, bro. This ain't right, man.
Smell again. <laughs> Tanya, Tanya, I know you there. Pick up the phone. I ain't seen you at work. I ain't seen you at church. You know, I'm not trying to get in your business, but the worst place to be when you're going through is by yourself. It just gives the devil space and opportunity to get in your head, mess with you. You better call me back, girl. Text me, do something. I'm just trying to see if you're okay. You know what? Don't make me come over there, because you know I'll come over there. Time. Text me back. Do something. Let me know you're okay. All right, girl. Love you. Bye. Now, you are going to make that fried chicken again this year, aren't you? Yes, I am. Because it was slim. That's one of my favorite. It was slim. Thank you, girl. I got to go. You have a good day. Okay. Brother Smith, how are you? Um, I'm blessed. How you doing, Sister Cindy? I'm okay. But I do have a question for you. And I'm only asking because I'm concerned about my friend Tanya. So, how are things going between you two? Between us. Between you two? There is no us. It's never been in us. And if anybody told you other than that, they wrong. Now look here, Deacon Smith. You are dating Sister Tanya, and the whole church knows it. So don't mess with me like that. Sister Cindy, don't forget who you're talking to. You remember that. You know who my father is. Yeah, the one messing with Miss Johnson. And don't you forget that the Bible says that these things that the Lord hate, a proud look and a lying tongue. <laughs> Sister Cindy, the Bible also says, 1 Timothy 2.12, that I am not to allow a woman permit you to teach or have authority over me. As a matter of fact, that scripture also says that a woman should be quiet. You know what that means? Yeah. Shut up and mind your own business. And stay out of mind. But you know what, Sister Cindy? You have a blessed day. I'll be praying for you to get your own life. Lord Jesus, you better be glad I'm saved because I was going to snatch him up. You be Ooh, 
Ooh, that'd be glad I prayed this morning, cause. with you until you forgive yourself you can never forgive anybody else she's right we all make decisions we make them every day Tanya I'm not proud of all the decisions I made in my life it's been many nights where I've had pity parties all night long but it wasn't until I started to own my decisions that I started to heal now you've made some decisions Good, bad, or indifferent. You can start today by making a new decision for your future. Don't ever let one decision keep you from living. You got a lot of life to live. You miss out on a lot if you do that. Tasha's right. And that's why I keep asking you to come to Faith Town with us. What is Faith Town? I mean, I hear you talking about it, but what does it mean? It's not going to church as a ritual anymore. It means we live the word every day, all day, in all of our decisions, even in our pain. We're not just hearers of the word anymore. We're doers. We're living it. I don't know. Me and God are not on the same page. If God loved me so much, why would he put me through all of this? I don't understand. Why did I have to grow up in a substance abuse home without a father? And then later, a foster care mother that didn't care about me. And then when I finally opened up to someone, a man that I think I can love, he just leaves me there in the hospital not knowing what happened to me or our unborn child. I don't understand. Then I just keep hearing in my head my foster care mother say, I'm not going to be nothing. I'm not going to be good for nothing. I don't understand why it's happening to me. <laughs> how can I live when all I know is how to live by myself? <laughs> yes, I hear the preacher. But how can I live something that seems so invisible? <laughs> it starts with closing your eyes. Close your eyes. Now tell me, what do you see? Nothing. And that's part of the problem. We're all blind, but God gives sight to the blind. To those who ask to see. Yes. And when you see and recognize, you'll understand that God has always been with you. You were never alone. Never. That's it. It's going to take time. You don't have to decide today. But just know, we're here for you. We got your back. So whatever you need, we're right here. I never thought of it like that before. But that's the message we share at Faith Town. So when you're ready, we want you to come with us.
shop. You get one more order of flowers next week, and I'm going to buy some stock in that flower shop. <laughs> yeah. Do you know who to from? Mm, I think I have an idea. Someone's really trying to send you a message. Maybe. <laughs> All I know, my man is slipping. <laughs> Maybe my flowers. Wow. You know, it's speaking so many things to my spirit today. Yeah, yeah, pretty good word. But you know, honey, What's that? we have not seen Sister Jones in a long time. That's right. And, and personally, I'm getting worried, and I think that maybe I should give her a call. That sounds like a good idea. Yeah. You know, you give her a call, and I'll, I'll be over here in the studies, okay? Yes, I'll do that. All right. I'll do that right now. How are you? Well, I'm blessed. Thank you for asking. Um, well, you know, I was calling to check on you. Pastor and I have not seen you in a while, and we are getting worried. And we want to make sure that you're okay, and we truly miss you. Is everything all right? Yeah, I'm okay. Uh, you know, you came on my mind really heavy, and I just wanted to give you a call and to let you know that we have been praying for you. And I'm always available if you need to talk to me. Th thanks for calling me. Tanya, we love you, honey. You have become a part of our family. And family means something here at our church. You love me? Well, yes, we really do love you, Tanya. And that is true. Coming from the heart of pastor and myself. How, when you really don't even know me? Well, Tanya, you're right. Now, we know that we don't know you like that or personally, but... I need... Pastor and I have been placed here to love and to care for the people of our church. For most of my life, no one has ever told me that they love me. Now you're telling me that you love me? Tanya... His love for you is very, very real. And the love that Pastor and I have for you is real too as well. I'm sorry, this is just hard to believe. Well, okay, I understand that. Uh, but before you go, can I pray for you? I'd love to do that. Okay. Okay. Lord, you have told us that in the mouth of two or three witnesses to let every word be established. And I pray that you send Tanya to more people as a witness to how much you love her. Show her your love, O oh God, and we will thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, okay, my daughter in Zion, you, you be safe and listen, we love you so much. And if you need anything, don't hesitate to give me a call. I'm just a phone call away. All right, love you, my daughter. Okay, thank you. God bless you.
That was Dre Hill, Trust and Believe on Faith Town Radio. I'm Brother Andre. My brothers and my sisters, I've got a scripture for you. It's found in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14, where the word is trying to tell us not to become unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Now that does not mean that you can't have friends uh, that are unbelievers. No, 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 no. What the word is trying to say is that you cannot allow your heart to become romantically connected. Now everything may start off just fine, but because of the different natures, one person will be pulling one way while the other person is pulling another. God is trying to spare you the trauma. So don't become romantically connected or unequally yoked. Anyway, well, that's my quick lesson for today. I'm Brother Andre. Until next time. Here's another Dre Hill track. Real Christians on Faith Town Radio. People love say you. they love yeah. that loud. I think Jesus spoke to me. You know, I've been thinking about you and praying for you since early this morning. Let's have some tea and we can talk about it. You said Jesus spoke to you? Yeah. So, tell me about it. You know, I've been thinking, and I think I'm ready to come to Faith Town. You know, Faith Town is not a physical place. It's not just going to church anymore. Yes. It means letting go of all the hurts from your past and forgiving. Yep. You're not that person anymore. You're not anything or anyone from your past, nor what they thought about you. It's really living like Jesus. I mean, really living the word. And that means you have to forgive. You have to let go of all the stuff that's holding you back from the life that God has for you. You're not that little girl anymore. You're not your mother or her drug habit. You're not the prostitute your foster mother said you would be. And the decisions you and Jamerson made in the beginning do not have to define your destiny. You have to forgive. God has a great work for you to do. Are you ready for that? Are you ready to be a living witness of what God's love looks like? Yes, Cindy. I'm ready to let it all go. I'm ready to start living again. I've been through a lot, Cindy. 
I'm ready to put it all in God's hands. Then, my dear, it's time for you to forgive all the people that have hurt you in your past. You know they don't deserve that kind of power. The power to make you question yourself, not trust yourself or other people, and then wallow in your poor choices and bad decisions. And in order to do that, you have to forgive them. I forgive them. I forgive my mother for choosing drugs over her children. I forgive my father for not caring about me. I forgive my foster care mother for years of abuse. I forgive them. Can you forgive Jameson? Do you forgive yourself? Yes. Yes. Then cleanse yourself, baby. And welcome to Faith Town. Now, I'm not telling you that all the memories are going to magically disappear. But what I am telling you is that your memories become your ministry. God loves you more than anyone else. And he will always, always protect you. And bring you back. Oh, 
fix it. Because that's what people do when they live within Jesus. When they live in Faith Town and not just go to church. His love and His care. I don't know what to say. It's ever ready to bear. Your hurts and your pain. I know I don't deserve it. Jesus can handle it. In me. But I want you to know, Tony. You know, when you were not there for me, God was. I needed you, James. You left me in that hospital by myself, and I needed you. You were not there. And I had to do it. Losing the baby by myself. Have you ever heard of a generational curse? They say it is passed on when a child is raised in a substance abuse environment. But I met the one that can break any type of generational curse. And I know the one that can create new hearts. His name is Jesus. My name used to be Latanya Jones. I'm married now, and my last name is Smith. My life is so very blessed. I'm surrounded with friends and my baby brother that loves me. I breathe to the mountain. Dear God, now I know why I face those hard times in my life. Now I know why I was born. Their beauty and their majesty alone can make you smile. All of your creation sings, and that can make you smile. So I can show other hurting people. What real love is. Teach me how, oh Lord, to live. Claim me white as snow. Your word is spirit. I follow. Help me to. And where they can find it. And who they can find it. in Jesus Christ.
Well, it's up to you and me, sanctified and holy. In us, Christ, they must see. Are you going to be at that church picnic on next month? I wouldn't miss it for the world. Been there the last 10 years, Dick. Mm, mm, mm. And you going? Oh, I'll never be there. <laughs> oh, my God. Somebody, please stand up. You got to go back to the old landmark.